Maharaj, they approached the king and they said, Sir, you're on the wrong path. You are, you have stopped all sacrifices. And without sacrifice, there cannot be happiness. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Yajna Dana Tapasya. Three things should never be given up. Yajna, which means sacrifice. Dana, which means uh, charity. And Tapa, which means austerity. Krishna explains in the Bhagavad Gita that even the great sages, cannot renounce these three activities. One cannot say, well, Mahatma Sanyasi, so I don't have to be austere. I don't have to... No, this is for everyone. So the Brahmanas took it as a duty to guide the king, to correct his wrong policies. And they approached him and said, we want everyone to worship the personality of Godhead. Because unless the personality of God is in worship, there will not be happiness. And without Yajna, the human life is a failure. Shama Evri Kero. So they were giving the king good advice. But the king was so puffed up. When he heard the advice, he said, Oh, you're coming to advise me? You don't know who I am? And he said, Vishnu, Brahma, Indra, all the demigods, they all reside in the body of the king. <laughs> That's the new one. Isn't it? It's so funny. You see, we say all the demigods reside in the body of the cow. He said, Brahma, Vishnu, Indra, all the demigods, they reside in the body of the king. And you people, instead of worshiping the king, you want to worship the Supreme Lord. You are like an unchaste woman who is married and who has a lover. He said, I am maintaining you. So I should be respond. So all of you should worship me. All the rituals should be directed to please me. Because all the Supreme Lord of demigods are all in my body. <laughs> so when the sages heard this blasphemy of the Supreme Lord. They were very, very angry. Now, this demonic king must be done away with. The sages had such great power that just by chanting mantras, they could turn somebody into ashes. These days you need A47s, huh? <laughs> but the sages, they didn't need A47s at that time. They had so much power and purity that just by chanting mantras, they could convert someone into ashes. So the sages, in general, are very peaceful. They are tolerant. Chitik Shakaru Nikaha Suruda Sarva one of the qualities of a devotee is that he is very tolerant. So devotees, even if they are criticized or inconvenienced or put into difficulties, they just tolerate it. But one thing they cannot tolerate, they cannot tolerate criticism of the Lord and, and, and his devotees. Lord Chaitanya, was the embodiment of tolerance. He was, um, he tolerated all the criticism of the Mayavadis. And, uh, but when Lord Chaitanya saw that Nityananda was attacked by uh, Madhai, who threw a stone, Lord Chaitanya was very angry and he came to the Sudarshan Chakra to NLA his miscreant till he was stopped and so by Nityananda. So this is the nature of a devotee. If he is criticized, if he is inconvenienced, he doesn't mind, he accepts it. But when he sees 
the Lord or his devotees being criticized, that he cannot tolerate.